Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons, and today's question is the sexual life history with the bladed plant known as ulva is, and you have to choose one of these variants. Ulva belongs to the green algae, here you can see different representatives of green algae and ulva, one of them. On this picture you can see different lineages, starting with Chlamydomonas, which is most primitive green alga, unicellular, flagellated, and one of the lineages that you can see here is ulva. And here is how adult plant looks like. This alga has true parenchyma, belong to the order ulvales, and zealous of this alga represent large sheet of the cells anchored to the substrate by holdfast. This is how this alga looks like. In this genus there can be different species and as you see the morphology is different. In many cases the loss of this alga is only two cells thick. And now let's talk about life history of this alga. We even have here the name of this life history, which is isomorphic alternation of generations, but if you will check our variants of the answers, you are not going to find it here, because it has alternative name, which I will tell you just in one moment. Let's start here, this plant is deployed here, and we call it sporophyte, and sporophyte produce spores. Sporophyte is deployed, spores are haploid. So spores also have four flagella here. So it's easy to say difference between spores and gametes. Gametes has two flagella, spores has four flagella. Spores haploid and through the process of mitosis they would grow into adult form which looks the same as sporophyte and this adult form which is haploid we call gametophyte. Haploid plant looks the same as diploid plant, hence the name isomorphic, so that means that this haploid plant looks the same as diploid plant. We cannot tell difference just by looking at the haploid and diploid plant. This haploid gametophyte produce through the mitosis, not through the meiosis, but through the mitosis, haploid gametes. So here sporophyte produce spores through the meiosis, which are haploid. Gametophyte, because it is haploid, it will produce gametes, which are going to be also haploid through the process of mitosis. And again, they have only two flagella, those look similar to spores, but spores has four flagella. When they would recognize each other, one we call positive, another negative, so when they will find each other, they would form zygote, and that zygote through the process of mitosis would germinate into germling, and then again through the process of mitosis would form diploid adult plant, which we call sporophyte. So as you see, we have here alternation of generations, because we have sporophyte, which is diploid, which looks the same as haploid gametophyte. And alternative name for alternation of generation life history would be sporic meiosis, life history, answer B. In green algae, we also can find zygotic meiosis, life history, and gametic meiosis, life history. But if you know that your alga is red alga, it would be easier to say life history, because in red alga only sporic meiosis life history present, but in green algae all three present, zygotic meiosis, sporic meiosis, and gametic meiosis, so it would be much harder to say which life history for particular seaweed, unless you know from your textbook or lecture notes. And this is all for today, subscribe and see you in the next video, goodbye.